Look at this dude. Oh my god. Oh, it's easy to... This is the downfall of SeaWorld allowing you to get drinks at a 20% discount. This is what happens right here. This is the SeaWorld annual pass holder drink discount in full effect right here. You ruined his face. Look at him. He was ugly before, but Jesus. It's so dark. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we are taking you guys on a Christmas extravaganza. We are here at SeaWorld Orlando for their Christmas celebration. We've done the Busch Gardens one. Now we're at their sister park SeaWorld to check it out. They've got some amazing food on the menu. We're gonna take you guys and show you guys the whole event. We know this event is always good. We've been coming here for a long time. So I know that they're gonna have some really neat stuff here. Probably one of the better Christmas events here in Florida. So let's get inside and uh, show you guys what this event is all about. Before we hop inside though, I did want to take you guys right back to the parking lot real quick and show you something really cool that is coming to this park in just a few months. And they've made a lot of progress on this. So let's go to the parking lot real quick and check it out. And then we'll hop inside and go have some fun. So before we get you guys inside SeaWorld and show you all the Christmas stuff, we did want to show you all the progress that they've made on this coaster. So this is actually going to be Florida's first and only stand-up coaster. Um, and they've come a long way actually in a short amount of time. So this is gonna be Florida's first stand-up coaster. So you can see like, they do have a kind of a seat there. So the seats actually move up and down depending on where the ride is. So you can see they're on some type of like hydraulic mechanism there. And unfortunately they do still have the comfort collars. So I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not, yeah, but so the height inches, requirement yeah. is 54 inches. Yeah, yeah so and everything with the yeah, ride. you can actually see the, the hydraulics there. So it's actually kind of cool. Um, I like the way it looks. It looks really awesome. So let us know in the comments what you guys think. Are you guys ready for Pipeline? I, I think it's gonna be awesome. And obviously when it comes time to opening, we will get you guys on it. Uh, first front row, just like we always do. So uh, we're pretty excited about this. Unfortunately, I don't know if Ethan will be able to ride this by the time uh, it opens. So it may, he's got about two inches, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. So we are gonna get a pretty good shot here of the new coaster, just to give you guys an idea. It's looking pretty good right now, honestly. So unfortunately in years past, this is actually where they had all the Christmas celebration stuff. So right where that coaster is, is normally where all the Christmas stuff would have been. Um, so now it's gonna be throughout the park, it's gonna be a little bit different this year. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how they did, but obviously you're also getting a pretty good view here of the trees. So these are actually the Christmas trees that are gonna light up and do all kinds of dancing stuff in night. Uh, it's actually really, really cool. They have them all over the lake here. And um, it's, it's probably one of my favorite features here uh, as far as the Christmas lights go. I really, really enjoy them. So soon this lake will be alive with dancing Christmas trees and lights. I'm looking forward to it. It's not quite dark yet, but we're getting there. We're actually gonna try some food and drinks real quick. So uh, let's hop over and check that out. Ooh, pink flamingo. Of the, of the pretzel? Is it, it's like a snowman. Yes. It says top hat though. Is that? It's not a top hat. Is it's it? a snowman. Pull it off of there. Just okay. No. Like, it's decent, but not. I mean, what do you think? It's, it's not as good not as the Bush Garden place. Yeah. I like the pretzel place is better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cakes. What do you think? Oh. Of course, you like it. It's the shape of a. Snowman, so he's down. Yeah, I kind of like the shape of the snowman. All right, so we did get a couple drinks. Yes, we did. We got um, Tis the Season. Yeah, Tis the Season, which is... It's Tawaka, Tawaka and Apple Cider. And Apple Cider, yeah. And, and it is know, hot. It's a hot drink. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be a hot drink until we got it, and um, apparently it's pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. I've tried it. It's fantastic. Okay. Well, we'll try it again, but I, I really, really thought it was great. And then I got the um, Caramel Mule. And that's got Tito's, uh, caramel, and uh, ginger beer with wine. And it's good. Yeah? Mm hmm Like real good? I mean, it's sweet, but it's not, not too sweet. You should try it. It's actually, I really like it. I'm going to. So we thought this was probably a good time to tell you guys about the lanyard. So 
They do have a pass order lanyard again this year. It's actually a 12 sample lanyard. They were out of them, so they gave us three additional samples on top of this. But normally, it'll be a 12 sample lanyard for the price of the 10. So when you do the math on that, it's $58 um, for a 12 sample lanyard, which brings your samples. Each sample is gonna cost you $4.88. So if you look at the prices and you kind of weigh it out, it's much cheaper, about 50% off actually, uh, if you look at the prices, because everything's right around eight to $10 per sample. So the pass holder lanyard or even the regular lanyard is the definite way to go if you're looking to save some money here at this event. This is good. I love that. This is literally just like mold apple cider. You don't even really notice the alcohol too much. No, it's really fantastic. Uh, I was very, very pleased with that. It's super apple. Yeah. Very good. I'm going to, uh, I want to try this other yeah, drink this is though. Good. It's sweet, but it's good. All right. Yeah, that's actually really good too. Yeah, it's sweet. It is but it's sweet. It's not like overly sweet, and I don't feel like I would get heartburn on it. It's not. So that's a plus. I mean, this is good like in the daytime if it's like kind of warm out. Um, but when it gets cool out, like I like this this warm drink. You know, it's it's not hot cocoa by any means, but uh, it'll definitely warm me up inside. I like that, and the taste of it's really really good. Like you don't get a lot of alcohol taste, and it's not super super sweet either. Um, so I would I would definitely yeah, recommend this. Balanced. This is very very good. Yes. I would love to do that. It's going. Yeah. You know, we haven't really done that since it's reopened. No, and I heard they did a really good job redoing that, and obviously the views are spectacular. I bet it would be really cool to do it at night uh, with the Christmas lights. It would be cool to do it at night. Maybe we'll do it tonight. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. So, are you want to you want to try the cookie? Yeah, first. Okay. Where's your Where's the, your fork? I'm gonna try the middle part. You're gonna try the middle part? He's just diving right in. Just Just dive in there. What do you? It's a little, maybe a little hard. It's a sugar cookie. Oh my goodness. It's it comes right out of there. Sugar cookie. Okay, just take a bite into it. Yeah, there you go. Make a mess. I like it. <laughs> is it it's a deep dish sugar cookie? Is that is yeah. that what's going on there? Wow, it's very thick. Mm. Yeah? Mm. He said, mm. He meant it too. <laughs> Giving it the it's thumbs up plus. already. Oh man, he went back in for seconds. So he's he's abandoned the pretzel at this point and moved right into the sugar Strapped cookie. He's, he's done with the pretzel Strapped. at this point. Uh-oh. It's okay. going to be a green disaster. Oh, yeah, you can already tell. It's already spreading. You're starting to look like the Grinch already, dude. <laughs> Yikes. Is that an edible sticker? It looks wow. like he's eating paper. <laughs> it does. It legitimately looks like eating paper. Uh, you got something to tell me, buddy? Are you OK? Eating paper? Is it the most delicious paper you ever had? See, like, I kind of want to try the cookie, but I'll have to, like, scrape about 10 pounds of icing off before I feel like I want to. Uh, plus, you'll have to be very cautious over there with your fingers because yeah. you might get one bitten off. Not only that, but that does look like it's I don't think he's going to let you anywhere near that. <laughs> look at his teeth. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so note the cookie is a mess. So make sure that you're prepared for that if you're gonna order the cookie. Live music at Lakeside. That's something new. I haven't seen this before yet. No, I've never seen that. They also moved the train over here. What train? The one that's usually over in the Christmas Village that's not there anymore because of pipeline. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that, that train. I was wondering if they were gonna still have this. Oh, but now it's like exposed. The kids can actually play with it. That's just kind of troublesome. <laughs> well, they can't really play with it, but oh, they can get they dangerous. The track, oh, they so can touch their fingers. Oh, I don't, I don't like that they can touch the train now. For that's pretty cool it is cool you can go ahead oh. it moved it wow it is super busy they got a ballerina though that's kind of cool but super busy. Oh, oh man. All right, Nikki, get us through the crowd. Yikes! So if you're wanting Stay to us, see the show from the bridge, uh, I don't know, good luck, I guess. It's, uh, it gets very busy through here, like insanely busy. Wow.
Lots of people. See a tree and a sea of people. Yeah. I don't know what's more interesting though. Is it the sea of trees or the sea of people? Oh, it's so difficult. I ain't no sea of tree of uh, people like Disney, sea of people though. So. No, no. I, I think, it, yeah, once you've been to Disney, you're kind of numb to the yeah. sea of people, but. Uh, once you've been to like a New Year's Eve or 4th of July at Magic Kingdom, no, no crowds phase you. <laughs> yeah, but it is still busy here today. So, and this park is not laid out in such a way where they can deal with huge crowds. So as it gets busier, uh, it does get a little harder to navigate the park. But that's okay because it's Christmas and they have really cool lights out and I, I don't care about going through the park slow because it's a really good view. What's up with that mac and cheese? This is so good. It's got bacon on it? It's got That's bacon. not the Impossible Mac though, is it? No, I don't think they have Impossible Mac. That's the chili. Oh, they have Impossible Chili. Chili, yeah. That's so good too. The mac and cheese has bacon. Oh my god. Is it good? Yep. And crunchy onions. It kind of looks good. I didn't get it with the onions. I got it without the onions. I'm perfectly fine with vegetables. I mean, is an onion a vegetable? <laughs> you got some in your beard. That's a flavor saver. <laughs> I gotta give that a shot. Nikki, how is it? So good. Let me try this. Oh boy. She's diving in. You got it? Oh boy. Son, that is fantastic. Holy Just, hell. That's a solid mac and cheese? That's a really good mac and cheese. Hey, now that's the grilled cheese, correct? Yeah, that's the, uh, it's like the adult grilled cheese. It's on Texas toast. And they serve it with what, tomato soup, right? Just kind of like Nikki's thing. Yeah? Is that what's up? Dude, their food is so good here. I don't care what anyone says, their food is amazing here. Yeah, and I mean, not for nothing, but uh, for $4.80 for that sample, that's a lot of food for $4.80. And then look at the Impossible Chili. That's but, like a whole bowl of chili. But it's only $4.80 if you have the language. Yeah, so if you don't buy the lanyard, it's more money. Yes, but the it's like the smart deal to go with the lanyard because... Yeah, you'd be foolish not to buy the lanyard because yeah. it's it's $11 per sample-ish, like yeah. on average. So you're saving half price by going with the lanyard. Yeah. So if you don't buy the lanyard, I mean, I told you and you messed up. That's all there is to it. And then Nikki got a drink too. Nikki, what drink did you get? Uh, I don't remember what that's called. Jack Frost? Okay, I don't know, we'll come back to that. But we did get a drink too, a frozen drink. But I have the picture, I just don't wanna go back and look at it. I will though. Oh, yeah. yeah, that grilled cheese is good. Okay, so this is the grilled cheese dipped in the uh, tomato soup sauce thing they have. Um, it's, this is fantastic. It's like Texas toast. So much cheese on it. So much cheese. Dude, I love SeaWorld. Their food is so good, man. You try this grilled cheese? You're this eating it right now? Here? Oh my God. Oh, isn't that cute? Mm. Here, I got you. Oh. Yeah, I don't usually like the meatless option, so. Actually, believe it or not, believe it or not, the chili is pretty good. And I, I'm not a meatless guy. It actually is good. It's actually, it's more spicier than I thought it would be. I'm telling you. How's that impossible chili? It's actually spicier than I thought it would be.
it's like initially it's not spicy and then yeah it's got a little heat <laughs> it's not overly spicy but it does have some heat to it I like it. So that's got sour cream in it. And then I don't know, what are the crispy bits? Cause there's some crispy stuff in there. That, um, I feel like make that dish. Those are crispy jalapenos. Oh, is that what it is? Crispy jalapenos? That's, that's the spice. Good. But they are really good. That's not something we'd usually try. But... Yeah, so the impossible chili is not something that we probably would have tried, but we did get talked into it. And it is the best chili you'll, one of the best chilies you'll eat it's and definitely the best chili I've ever had here. It's a yeah. soupy curry. Yeah. The first time I had it... it was more chunky? Sorry, guys. I'm having perform eating. performance issues. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I'm not surprised. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so the chili is... It's a little soupier this time than the first time I had it. But for an all-vegetable chili... Yeah, it's a So I didn't chili. realize, like, the crunchy bits in there are actually uh, jalapenos. They're, like, crushed up... Uh, like little bit, bits of jalapeno, which um, is actually really interesting. Like it, it's not overly hot, no, not too but hot. it makes the chili, uh, it just gives it this really cool texture. Thing, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I was, uh, I was really impressed with it, honestly. And I'm not somebody that usually tries stuff like that, but that was actually really good. But I, I'd say out of these dishes, my favorite dish so far um, has been that grilled cheese. That, that grilled cheese was fire, son. Uh, I mean, the bread was fantastic. It had a ton of cheese on it. it yeah. And then the, it's not really tomato soup, but the, the tomato soup they give you with it is, is really, really well done. It is thick. We, we've also, um, we've deemed you the guy that's gonna have to go ahead and finish the, uh, the frosty drink there. Cause we, uh, it's okay, but it doesn't, it doesn't scream Christmas to us. So I got a tropical vibe from that. Uh oh, no? there it is. It was terrible. Oh, I didn't think it was terrible. I didn't think it was terrible. Really? I just it's not tropical or it's not a Christmassy at all. It's because they threw something mint in it, and that's about it. Oh, I don't taste yeah, anything. Yeah, I think it. it's um, blue carousel actually. Blue carousel. I think there's something mint in it. I don't know. It tastes horrible. I it's horrible. I didn't think it was horrible, but I. So Jamie and Gingy's making. Yeah. He's like this isn't Jamie and Gingy. What is this sorcery? Hold on. There it is. <laughs> You about to fix it? Fixed it. Washed. He's gonna do it. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. How much of that's gonna be in your beard for later, you think? That's why they call it a flavor saver. I like it. <laughs> nice. It was good. That's how you mess up a chili right there. We messed up like every, every, every one of them. Yeah, bro, all that was good. That mac and cheese was really good. Hello. Hello, how are you? Why? Why do you it's not want to pick it up? Freaking glazed donut sandwich. It's gonna be fine. Supposedly, Maybe I this is amazing. Pick this up. You're just gonna have to pick it up. <laughs> just stop being a wimp. Oh, man. Is it as magical as Jason describes it? Yeah. Is it that good? Really? No Man. Oh my god. It's a little messy. A little bit. A little sticky. Oh wow. Now this usually comes with the uh, spicy sriracha mayonnaise and pickles. Oh my god. Pretty good. The chicken's like really awesome. Um, and the donut like complements it very well. Yeah, it's not like overly sweet donut. Dude, I love We've that. actually had one of these type of uh, sandwiches at Bush Gardens mm. and it wasn't as good. Like I felt like that donut was really, really sticky and really, really sweet. And the and chicken was wasn't nearly as good. Messy. Um, this is, I mean, it's gonna be a little sticky, of course it is with a donut, but it is not the same. It is really good. That's been, I would order that again in a heartbeat. Not to say that the other one at Fish Corners was bad at all, because I actually liked it too, but it was messy. It wasn't it as was good messy. as this, <laughs> yeah, And the chicken wasn't as good at the one in Fish Corners. No, the chicken's very good. I'm in love with that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Wow. But, 
You do it get a little messy. A little, a little sticky. Not bad though. I mean, yeah. Glazed donut. What do you want to do about it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Squirt it. I am trying. Squirt it. It's probably cold, so it's probably like. <laughs> it's pressing really it's hard. It's congealed. Ooh, this is so anticlimactic. <laughs> it's still like blow cheese everywhere. <laughs> Easy. I cannot do. Is there a is there a, a lid on that? It could there be. Is, is a there a lid, lid on there? <laughs> Good. So you have to be smarter than the device. Bro, I was so, pressing so hard. <laughs> I was really Nikki. trying. I was trying hard. So we're clear. There's a yeah. lid on the cheese. Take the cap off the cheese. Be smarter try it, than try it. Try be again. Be smarter than the cheese. You can do it. Oh, that's like extra easy. Oh, now. see how that works. <laughs> That's a lot more cheese than I anticipated. Oh. Yeah, so you saw they skimped you on the cheese. They did not. Ew. Oh my God, all right, you're getting after it in there. Is it good oh, cheese? Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so that is a bison burger. So, okay, now Nikki, a bison burger is gonna be slightly drier than a regular burger. Of course, yes. Um, usually it comes with an onion bacon jam, too, yeah. but we didn't. We've had the onion bacon jam before, and it, it's not, we weren't super thrilled with it. How is it? Shut all the time. <laughs> is it everything you thought it would be? It's a cheeseburger. It's, it's fine. <laughs> but it's bison. It's high end. Oh my god, a cheese, a bison cheeseburger. Oh my god. It's supposed to be good. Everyone says it's delicious. Why do you look like a crazed animal when you bite into everything? Mm. Mm. <laughs> this isn't a Burger King commercial. It's very, it's very dry. Well, I mean, it is a bison burger, so I, I did expect it to be dry, but like, is yeah, it but I've, had, I've had bison burgers elsewhere. Yeah. For a theme park, this is good. Yeah. Now it did, it was supposed to have a bacon uh, jam on it, we didn't get it with that, so it wouldn't have been as dry had we had that on there. Why didn't you get the bacon jam? It was bacon onion jam. Okay. I'm not a big fan of onion. We've had it before on another sandwich. It kind of ruined it, honestly. I'm just gonna put this down. You ruined it for me. It's dry. So you were what? telling me that you didn't get the uh, bacon onion jam, jam on it? We've had it on another sandwich. It's not. It's not the, great. The question I have to ask is, do you think it would make a difference in the dryness? Yeah, it definitely would be less dry with the bacon onion jam. Yeah. Um, also, the we could have waited for a fresh one of these. Yes, that is uh, true. But we didn't have 20 minutes, so I don't know how long these were like, kind of like, sitting there waiting. Um, so we could have waited, but we didn't. Uh, so so get it a little earlier. Yeah, or you can like, you know, just wait the few minutes and get a fresh one if you really, really want a fresh one. Now, I don't know that it would make it that big of a difference because bison burgers are dry anyway. Um, and it's not like overly dry. I do like the flavor though. And I, I actually like bison burgers anyway. Um, it tastes very much like a regular burger. So if you want to try something a little bit different, but you're not on, like not sure you're a little on the fence, the bison burger will be fine. It's just like a regular burger. Jason fell asleep actually while I was telling you that is that, so that's why the camera's shaking back and forth. <laughs> it's not bad though. It's actually pretty good. I'll tell the you the cheese. It's super underwhelming. Yeah, like I was excited more for like the cheese being like a, an cool actual beer to cheese. It on the cheeseburger. <laughs> I was excited about the cheese being like maybe like a beer cheese or something like that. Like yeah, but it's, it's actually like a, a cheese. yeah, it's, it it's, like, it's more like a, just like a basic cheese whiz. But if it was one of those bomb a like real deal beer cheeses, beer cheeses yeah, would have been fire. Yeah, they could have they could have completely turned this dish around for sure if they put a good beer cheese on this and then got rid of that syringe thing because it's kind of a novelty. Like, like Time Out Sports Bar, they have a really good beer cheese. Anyways, what, what's that? They have an insanely good beer cheese. It's delicious. It is delicious. No. Oh my God. She just jammed it in there. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? What's wrong with you? I 
This is the downfall of SeaWorld allowing you to get drinks at a 20% discount. This is what happens right here. This is the SeaWorld annual pass holder drink discount in full effect right here. You told me to do it. Maybe not so aggressively. No. That was no. super aggressive. You almost pulled his beard off. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go to the bathroom now and wash him up. You ruined his face. Look at him. He was ugly before, but Jesus. That's so dark. <laughs> So it's just starting to get dark in the park and you can see all the lights coming on. It really does look amazing. Now I will say, if you guys have seen our Bush Gardens video, I think Bush Gardens does a little bit of a better job in the light department. And that's just because they have more trees to work with. Um, and they do a really, really great job there too. But the lights here are still really stunning. Don't look now. He's trying oh to read. Oh my God. He's trying to read it. Oh God. He's touching it. He's touching it. It's a cool LED backpack. Yeah, we have made any of those in Santa's workshop. Nah. Where did you get that at? Santa dropped it off last year. Oh, okay. Special That's delivery. Naughty. That's right. I don't know what you got going on. There's some cool stuff there. It's funny. That was funny. Hey, y'all have a good one. Thanks. Thank you, you too. As you take your ride up to a height of 300 feet, Whoa. we thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips that might make your day even this is more awesome. enjoyable. For your own safety, please stay in your seats for this the entire so cool. ride and no smoking please. Oh, look at how busy the stadium is over there. The stadium's packed for the ice skating show. That's the last ice shooting too. Did you know you did. that SeaWorld has rescued and rehabilitated more than 9,000 Pipeline. None of this would be possible without the continued support of our oh, partner so agencies, park guests, Look at all the lights, guys. as well as people across the, the world trees. taking action to protect these amazing animals oh, and their habitats. The whole sea just came Our on. teams are on call 24-7, 365 days a year. <laughs> Partnering with multiple and government then, agencies, look at Orlando. conservationists, zoological look at facilities, view. and others to rescue and help animals in need of our care. We've got Penguin Always area. With the goal of rehabilitating yep. Journey them to Atlantis. and returning them to the wild. There's Kraken. Now everybody hold on as this thing falls. What? <laughs> oh, this is like one of those rugs upstairs. Brings for a sudden power stop. Tower. This is the power tower right here. Really fast. Look at how good the lights look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, we're just about 300 feet up now, and from here you can see from Look, there's Shimmy Stadium. Wow. As the cabin rotates, keep an eye open for a lush, Tropical oasis right across the street from SeaWorld. Oh, oh there's ice skating show. That's Discovery yeah. Cove, where you can snorkel with rays. See the ice skating show. Relax on a beautiful beach. Oh, 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 Burger. Is it and terrible? I'm disappointed. No? No. My beard smells really good. You've got snope in your hair. There's sn oh. snow ball in your hair, Nikki. What about me? Nope. You didn't get any snope in your hair. No. Jay's got snope in his beard. She, she beard got snow all up in her hair. I know, I've seen oh, it. I Turn around. It. Nope, no, you just, when you did that, it, it like unsnoped it. Yep, you like push it all in. You just ruined, you ruined the snope. 
So actually right here at the front of the park, they are doing a meet and greet with Santa. So you still can see Santa. Unfortunately, we were trying too many foods and Santa left for the day. Yep. He's gone. He's gone. Are you he sad? He exist. We shut him out. I know, I'm actually kind of sad you didn't get to see Santa because you have the elf thing on and like, could have gone in there and like, Santa! Santa! Oh my God! Santa here? I know him. I know him. Yeah, I, I feel like that would have been cool, but but we we did have beignets, so. I mean, you know. I know him. <laughs> oh, it's like an Airstream bus. They have these at Bush Gardens. These TVs. Does it? Does the train move? It does every hour. Yeah. There's a way to make the train move because we did it. How much are these though? Doesn't say. Oh, the ones at Bush Gardens are expensive. I'm sure they're the same because they're. It's made in Chinya. Oh, I hate that it's made in Chinya. Doesn't tell you though. It's not even made in Taiwan, so it's cheap. If it was made in Taiwan, it'd be a lot better. I mean, maybe. Now, everything I buy that's made in Taiwan, like my, my bike parts and stuff. Are better? 10 times better, a million times better. Hey, mommy. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna have to buy that for my sister, I think. So they do have a Bumble backpack. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy that for my sister. Are you, are you gonna buy that for your sister? Probably. Oh, there's only a few left, Jay. Oh, I think they have more, no, I don't. I'm sure they have plenty more. Hey, Jay. Don't forget to use your password or discount. So I can get my 50% discount. I don't, I don't think, think it's 50, I think I it's think, 20. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work for that. Not for Loungefly. Yeah. I gotta tell you, I'm kind of bummed they have all this Bumble merch, but not a Bumble meet and greet. Bumble, the snowman. That's his name, the snowman, Bumble. Yeah, but they don't have they don't have a meet and greet with them. So, so they, they have a meet and greet at Bush Gardens with Bumble, but not a meet and greet here with Bumble, but they, they have all the Bumble merch. No Bumble. What are you doing? So unfortunately that is going to do it for us here at SeaWorld. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, and we will see you guys on the next one. We appreciate you guys being with us and we can't wait to come out with some more awesome content for you guys. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any of that new content coming your guys' way. 